So it's the last quarter of 2021. It's been a crazy year in real estate. It's been, it's been very hectic, very busy, very good, very bad, all of the above. So today I want to talk to you about how what's going on with the real estate market. Ms. Carlos Perez with Center Real Estate. September was a really surprising month for me once the number and statistics came back from the local MLS. For one, to the market, the sales price, average sales price of or median sales price in El Paso actually took a little dip, which is surprising. We've seen the trend throughout the months, throughout last two years probably now, is been uh, pricing has gone up, gone up very aggressively. And this last month pricing came back down. So why did that come back down? We, I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's not predictable. It's too soon to really tell. Is it have we hit the peak? It's unclear at this point. I still see in the market. I'm out there every day. I still see homes going over sold for above asking. I still see homes that are going with multiple offers. I still see people paying out of pocket the difference of appraised value. So that is still happening on the real world in the real estate market. But the numbers show that there was a dip in. Um, sales price i do i did look at some some listings from homes that have sold i have seen homes that have sold that have gone back and checked them out maybe homes that we got our bid in and things like that and in reality the list some of those homes the list prices were one and then the offer probably was higher and then at the end of the day they ended up reducing the price maybe to compensate for appraisal to meet down to the appraisal so that's funny it's, it's not sure what's going on if, if we're looking at a small dip or if it's actually uh just the way things are the way that people were just kind of over overpricing the houses uh, i don't think it's a crash it's a very slight number we went from like two hundred eight thousand dollars to about two hundred and two thousand dollars uh so that's just a trend i still see new homes going up i still see neighborhoods so that prices are increasing with newer listings right uh, active listings we stayed pretty pretty close 1495 uh, for September of active listings that we had average days on market did uh, drop a little bit so maybe we're getting as realtors getting the hang of it lenders everything's kind of flowing a little bit smoother doesn't feel like it uh, out there when we're working but it looks like it's flowing a little bit smoother because days on market was about 44 compared to previous month it was 52 days on market Something that I, I like to look at a lot, uh, it's price per square foot, because like I mentioned, you could really determine if a, a house, like if your neighbor's house is a little bigger or smaller than yours, price per square foot gives you a more accurate pricing for that home. So I looked at it, it is about $122 a square foot on the average, and then last month in August, it was 123. So that's, that's kind of also a small, tiny dip, but it's expected with the rest of the numbers. And also home sold. Uh, there was a low, less home sold in September than August. Also something to keep in mind, August is still considered summer, even though kids are in school. I think that's crazy, but uh, August is uh, still considered summer. So September is kind of usually a little bit slower than the summer months. So that's where I kind of, I'm not too worried about this market. And then, so we had 797 homes sold versus 898 in August. Right, new listings were pretty pretty close. Uh, they pretty stayed pretty consistent. So that's the market. I still think we're in a strong real estate market. I still think it's a great time to to buy a house, even though prices have gone up or, or a little bit down. I guess in this case, but still a good time. I don't foresee prices dipping excessively. I don't foresee prices really coming down much in the next few years. But um, it's still a good time to buy because the because of pricing at some point so some homes are not going to be affordable or you're going to have to buy a smaller house also the market is um their interest rates are still very low and they, i mean you hear in the news you hear may, maybe they dip up or down a little bit but honestly overall uh, interest rates for financing are still historically low so it's a great time to buy it's a great time to lock down a comfortable uh, a comfortable payment for you and your family so don't wait don't wait for the for homes to be priced out of your price point right so if you have any further questions um, let me know in the, in the comments let me know what you think of this video and most important i want to see what you guys think where the market is going let me know in the comments as well have a great day take care